That little moment of her dancing behind the house was like a little gem that like Ariana found in the footage. I wouldn't have picked it, but she was like, no, it's so cute. And I'm like, okay. So we put it in and like everybody who's watched the video is always like, oh girl, get it. It's just so weird like what people react to. And But she knew, she knew people were gonna react to that. Ariana is a lot of fun just because she is such a star. She knows her brand, she knows her audience, she knows what she's doing. This idea was born in New York as we were prepping for the Breathe In music video. Just keep breathing and breathing. I was in town doing that video with her and she was really excited to talk about her next project. Hi. We are here on the set of Thank You Next. My first number one single. We were talking about ideas and she was like, what if we made a burn book? But not like a bad burn book like in the movie Mean Girls, but like a burn book to where it's like almost like a positive gratitude book. And it just really spiraled from there. That is so fetch. From there, we were just like, no, it can't just be Mean Girls. It has to be like all these other films in that same like female driven rom-com era. <laughs> What these films all had in common is they all had a strong female lead that you know has gone through a breakup and they've all went through something hard and it was tough and it was messy but they all came out stronger on the other side more empowered and i think that's also what this song is about one time on twitter i heard ariana was pregnant this whole regina george rumor bit was something we were going to do from the get-go but we didn't know it was going to go in the beginning of the video it was going to be actually sort of woven in throughout but ariana and i were sitting together and we were like, oh, that should open it. And it became like this really obvious, like, yes. We were very excited when we found out we could get Jonathan Bennett to play our Aaron Samuels because he is like such an icon and so great in this film. He had like short hair and he not, hasn't worn his hair like this in a while. So we had to like straighten it down and he was like all very excited and getting into character. In terms of the lines, we had like a bunch written down that like Ariana wrote and like some other people wrote. And even one of the actors in it, Gabby, she wrote a lot of them too. So when I found out Troy was gonna be in it, we were giving him the lines to like look over and be like, which one would you like to do? And he was like, oh, definitely that one. I heard she's a lesbian now and dating some chick called Aubrey. It's fucking sick. Colleen, she's pregnant. So we wanted to make some like a joke about pregnancy. She's like, what if there was a rumor that she was pregnant and so I got pregnant too and I was like oh my god yes and I was just blown away by her she's so fun the book we wanted to make it look as close to the real burn book as possible without getting sued so this scene right here is really about like her writing in the room book obviously what she wrote on the pages was really her idea we had talked about it like right from the get-go like what was gonna be in it and so she was like oh my god I could write like oh I could still get it and like huge and the only part that came up that was like a last-minute addition that we hadn't really talked about was on Pete's page when she wrote sorry I dipped and that was pretty pretty epic. One taught me love, one taught me patience. These are Ariana's friends. This is Liz. This is Alexa. This is Courtney. It was really Ariana's idea to place them in the character roles that they had. This was one of those things where Ariana knew that she wanted to have her friends in the video. She really wanted to look back and have a goofy, fun time with her friends and be like, you know what, those are the girls that were by my side during all that hard shit. And when I look back at this video, I wanna see them and I wanna like have this time that we can like look back on and remember. They weren't wearing this outfit in the movie at this time. This was like their, like on Wednesday we were a pink outfit. So we thought it'd be fun to wear that, that iconic look in this iconic scene. And something I really love about this outfit is this shirt that she's wearing. Instead of it saying a little bit dramatic, it says a little bit needy because that's a, a song title that she has coming out. I can be needy, so hard to please me. Ariana reached out to Chris, they're friends, and I think Chris like jumped at the opportunity to work with her. She was very eager and excited to be in it. She was 
amazing on set. She was such a firecracker and she had so much energy. And you never know, like when you get a cameo, like a celebrity cameo, like how down they really are to like participate and like be goofy and not take themselves too seriously. So it was really fun to watch her really come alive and like really take on like this moment. Everybody knows is like a super iconic moment in the film. Like if you're not gonna get Amy Poehler, if you're not gonna get Ariana's mom, like you have to get Kris Jenner. So something that fans should know is that these two right here, and I think one right here, Tommy, Mikey, and Scooty, they are the producers of the song. And then this woman right back there, that is Mama Grande. That is Joan herself. There was a fun moment on set when um, Chris went up to Joan and was like fixing her hair and like, and like she couldn't get it right. So she called her whole team over to like make sure Joan like looked perfect, even though she was like just in the background right here. And it was a really cute moment just watching these two moms like interact and be warm and sweet to each other. Bring It On was chosen because it was obviously a really fun, iconic, exciting film that had really funny moments that were just too hard to pass up from that era. Here is obviously a very iconic cheerleading moments with the Toros and the Clovers. For us, we decided to make them into the Thank You Next cheerleaders and we made the Clovers into lovers for legal reasons. And we wanted to make sure that we gave it our own little twist. And this girl actually right here, that is Taylor, and she is so fun. And this is Victoria. These are the songwriters. There's lots of little nuggets in this scene, which I love. Basically, this is Ariana as a ballerina, which I thought was really cute. Because there's actually these types of posters in the bedroom in the film. And this one, there was like a skating poster. And this one is actually Frankie Grande, which I don't know if everybody saw. Playback. So this 13 going on 30 scene was actually supposed to be in the beginning of the film. It was supposed to be the scene that opened up the entire video, the opening on a wedding or like the back of the bride and then pull out to then reveal Ariana walking past with the house. For this one, kind of putting it where it does now, it just lyrically makes a lot of sense where she's actually talking about walking down the aisle, holding hands with her mama. She really pulled from like a real place here when she saw her friends dressed as bridesmaids and you know, an Ariana Grande lookalike in that wedding dress. That was like an emotional time. It was like, she was actually bringing up real tears. I mean, he was really cute, you know? It was really cute. Working with Jennifer Coolidge in the Legally Blonde scenes was obviously a huge treat. She is such a legend and like a comedy icon. Ariana was like a little starstruck, I feel like, by her. Been a long time coming, I think, for them to meet and work together because they had kind of grown like some online relationship just based on like Ariana doing like those impressions that she does. God, <laughs> you look like the 4th of July. <laughs> Well, we got her in the film. We got this awesome like hairstyle again. Like I have to point this out because it's so epic. This was all improv. We gave them like some talking points of just like, all right, let's talk about some like bad breakups or a bad date or a funny story you had on a date and like, let's see where it goes. And it became like this really funny riff on like, you know, you know. And it was, it was really big. I got so much love. What we wanted to do is just make sure we created the same feeling that you got while watching the movies, but then also put like the Ariana Grande spin on everything. Instead of a bend and snap, we called it like the thank you next. But obviously these films are so great and like we fell in love with these characters and these stories. And so I think that obviously has a lot to do with that. But we really didn't get greenlit for the whole thank you next video until the Monday before we shot. And then we ended up shooting on a Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And that's actually a long, like pre-pro time for a music video. Five days, we were like, woo, what are we gonna do with this time? We were like, let's just get a pedicure. No, I'm kidding. It was crazy. Thank you, thank you, so fucking grateful. At the end of one of the takes, she she just said it herself. Thank you, Nick. Because we knew that like her cameo was so short in the in the actual video, and we wanted to give her a little bit more. So we thought that that would be a really fun like little bookend. <laughs>